I am giving you permission to be great. I'm giving you permission to be everything you were called to be, to do everything that you're capable of doing, to have everything you're supposed to have. You have to be careful when you hang around average people. All they're going to do is tell you what they can't do, and that's okay that they can't do it, but that has absolutely nothing to do with us, and we don't need anybody's permission to do it but ours. I am phenomenal, and I don't owe anybody an apology. I am going to do great things, and I don't owe anybody an apology. I am. I was created to be great. I was created to do great things. I was created to have great things, and I will no longer ask others for their permission. I had to invent a guy that didn't exist. I had to invent a guy that can take any pain, any suffering, any kind of judgment. I had to build, the, I had to build this callous mind and I built it through suffering. I built it through downright, just crushing myself. If, if it was raining outside at three o'clock in the morning, if it was snowing, the first instinct is don't go out there and do shit. My instinct was we gotta go out there. Anything that was horrible in my life that I would normally say no, that was inhumane to most people, I had to go do it. And I started callousing my mind at this point in my life. And I started realizing through this, through this process that the mind is what you created. And I started opening different doors that I didn't think were even there, that I didn't think even existed. And the more doors I opened up, the more I started realizing that my potential is damn near endless. It changed my whole mindset. It's a brutal journey every fucking day. And everybody goes, well, are you happy? To get through where I became, to get through where I'm at now, there's nothing but pride I have for myself that I can't really, I can't really show people. I'm driven, I'm obsessed, and that's what you see. The one mentality that you must have in life is that regardless of what's in front of you, you still must grind. I'll never be in the Olympics, I'll never be a professional athlete, but still I grind. I fail at most things I do, but still I grind. I don't want to do half the shit I do, but still I grind. And that one day, you see me down a dark alley, running at one o'clock in the morning, no one thing. I was grinding. I made my own path. And you may have big boulders and shit. They may be getting 200 miles up the road faster than you, but going through this path of life, this journey over here that you make yourself, that's incredibly difficult. What comes out the other end of that motherfucker is some glorious shit that you can't even explain to people. It's a big difference between a hard worker and somebody that works hard. If the situation and the circumstance is what they want it to be, they're going to come out and they're going to act accordingly and they're going to give you everything they got. But a hard worker, regardless of situation, regardless of circumstance, regardless of what happened, I'm going to show up and I'm going to give everything I got to it because I'm working for something that's totally different. Right, the question becomes this. Can you be committed to the process of what you're doing without being emotionally attached to the results of what you're doing? Can you be committed to the process of what you're doing without being emotionally attached to the results of what you're doing? In other words, if you don't get what you thought you was gonna get, will you still be the same individual? You judge the character of a man not by where he stands in times of comfort and convenience, you judge the character of a man by where he stand in times of challenge and controversy. Like, I don't care what a cat do when, when everything goes right. I don't, because everybody knows to smile. Everybody gonna celebrate when you win a game. Everybody gonna be in your corner and talking about how great you are. But when the opposition happens, when it gets hot, when things start going south and a cat jumps on your head and you're like, man, it's not what I thought it was. It's a difficult motherfucker where you're gonna fail and you're gonna be in your head. You're gonna be saying, I'm not good enough. And it's how you get through that. It's how you get through that on a daily basis. You're gonna knock down whatever that rock is that's been between you and your dream. You're gonna keep after it. You're gonna be relentless. You're not gonna give in. You're gonna be the person who stays excited until the entire job gets done, until that dream is real. And you know, long-term, all these other people, they're gonna flinch, they're gonna get weak, and you won't. You wanna be uncommon amongst uncommon people. For me, what, what got me in trouble with the Navy SEALs is I wanted to be one so bad. 
so bad. I fought my ass off. And I saw them as uncommon people. Very uncommon. But once you become a Navy SEAL, you're all Navy SEALs. So guess what happens? You're fucking common again. I wanted to be uncommon amongst uncommon people. I'm a warrior. A warrior is a motherfucker who says, hey, I'm here again today. I'm here again tomorrow. I'm going to be here the next day. It's a person that puts no limit on what's possible. It's our dream. Nobody's going to see it like you do it. It's your dream. Nobody's going to feel it like you feel it. It's your dream. Nobody's going to be as dedicated to it as you are. It's your dream, and they don't have to understand, and they don't have to like it, and they don't have to do it. It doesn't make a difference. It's your dream, and you, my friend, have been given the task to make it happen, and you can't let anything stop you from doing what you were called to do. You say you want to be great, let your actions, let your words display that. If you say you really want to be elite, let your actions and let your words display that. That's uncommon. You can't be a common man and do uncommon things. That's uncommon. That's an uncommon mentality. That's an uncommon spirit. That's an uncommon disposition. Don't ask me if I'm all right. No, we ain't all right. We said we was going to dominate these cats. And we ain't dominate. Every single day do you dominate in what you do. You'll get scared sometimes. Your mind will go blank on you. Some people you will allow to unnerve you. And you wonder, what's wrong with me? I'm not crazy. That's why you've got to learn to make a conscious, deliberate, determined effort to stand up inside yourself. You've got to focus on you. And as you convince you, as you sell yourself every day, every day, every day, you will begin to see a difference in the things that you're doing. Selling yourself on your ability to perform a job, to achieve a certain objective, telling yourself every day, here I go again, and I got what it takes. Look me in my eyes and tell me you're not about to quit. Tell me you're not about to quit. Like you're not about to wave the white flag and say I yield. Like tell me you're not about to fold. Tell me you're not about to go in the fetal position because the situation and circumstance has gotten hard. You can't control other people. You can't make them what you want them to be. You can't make them who you want them to be. The only person you can control is you. So focus on making yourself who you want to be. Faster, stronger, smarter, more humble, less ego discipline your body free your mind get up early and go get after it and you will become the person you want to be and you become that person through one small decision at a time it is never finished you always have more to do another mission another task another goal and the enemy is always watching, waiting, looking for that moment of weakness. Don't be finished. Be starting. Be alert. Be ready. Be attacking. Be relentless. Let the enemy stop. Let the enemy rest. Let the enemy finish. You don't finish. Don't stop, don't rest, not until the enemy is completely destroyed. Turn your focus inward on yourself and take the opportunity not to rest, but to make yourself better, faster, stronger, smarter. Because with those goals, nothing is ever finished.